How's it going guys? This is Kanasty3890 here with another MLB16 The Show video. Today I'm doing a video about experience and best ways to get experience. I had a comment in yesterday's video by a Jacob Hiltunen uh, and he asked what's the best ways to ground out experience. So I figured I'd do a video on it. Now if you guys have any questions for future videos that you want me to make a video on or have any questions in general, don't be afraid, don't be afraid to put them in the comments down below in this video and any video. I always read the comments and if I if someone puts a question I think I can do a video on it, I'll do a video on it or I'll just reply to the comment <clears throat> down below. Now there's two ways to get experience. One is playing the game. Two is by doing sets. Now playing the game is very simple, just play games, you get more experience. The harder the, if you play against a computer, the harder the difficulty you get more experience. So just remember that guys. Um, also, by playing well in a game, you get more experience. And you get experience by playing any game mode, not just Diamond Dynasty. Um, and then you also get experience from doing missions. And this is where you can get big chunks of experience. Now, from doing these sets, you can tell. If you do um, complete a whole team, you get 10,000. Complete a division, you get 25,000. The cover up is 26,000 and change, a very odd number. Um, if you just do the silver players, you get 5,000. So there's a good chunk of experience there. Again, there's 25 for NL Central. Um, and then for completing uh, the collections for all like the bats or gloves or rituals, whatever, you get experience as well. So what you can do is you can just have all those, finish those if you haven't already, and you can get experience. Uh, oops, I didn't want to leave that. Another way you can get experience in these is the statistical ones, which is a great way to grind them when you're just playing games or whatnot. As you can see, you can get, I mean, I'm close to the home runs. I need 23 home runs. Two more triples, I get 5,000. I mean, I get 25,000 for 23 more home runs. Um, plate appearances, for some reason, I got two of them. I got four and five of them. That's very odd. Um, I think that one just, like, redid itself. Anyway, I do have a bunch of these, you can tell, and you get a good amount of experience. I've done a bunch as well. Look at all these that I have done. Those are all experience. Also, command, uh, Conquer and Command, you get experience from doing these. Um, 10,000 for doing the gold, the diamond, and, or the plat. It is the diamond, it looks kind of like platinum, but it's 25,000 experience. Now, what you can do as well, guys, with the experience, like, as you can see on the top right, I'm on level 43 for David Ortiz. I was working on Hosmer, and all I did for the Hosmer one was just put sets towards it. And what I mean by that is, when there was, a, there was a gold card on here, I can't remember who it was, but there was a gold card who I really wanted. So it was Correa, it was Carlos Correa, and I wanted him, I already have him on my team, I was just going to sell the other one. And I was trying to get experience up, I, I ended up, I realized I wasn't going to have the tickets at the time to get him within the week, so I stopped grinding for it. But what you can do is, you can have all these at 30 relatively easily if you just maneuver your uh, collections correctly. Um, so what you want to do is, for instance, once you get to 30 on one, if you just want to get to 30 to the next one, let's say I am about to finish some collections and you can let them just pile up for a while, have like four or five ready. Then you're gonna select, I'm gonna select like Hosmer and then I'm gonna go into my, there's my phone. <laughs> and then you're gonna go into your missions and then you're going to click on one and you're gonna say finish it and it's gonna to go towards the Hosmer. You can see it's now 20 experience. Uh, 20 XP on that level because I'm on the Hosmer and you can then just switch right back to your T's or whatever you want to do So you can have one that you can like just grind games for and the rest you can just work towards missions to get to level 30 and your tickets carry over to each um, Rank you go to or I mean each uh, captain. So if I go to like uh, DeGrom, I still have 13 20 tickets if I go to uh, Rizzo there's 13 20 or T's 13 20 so every week when they re-release new gold cards if you have a uh, level 30 in each of them you can like pick and choose which gold card you want which is pretty nice also on Twitter there are rumors that they're gonna be coming out with flashbacks for these captain rewards and there will be a higher rank than 30 like 40 maybe even higher like 45 I think 50 is the max where you can get a flashback card that's why I'm still grinding with Ortiz. I'm kind of wanting to be able to get a flashback from that. There's no confirmation that's the case, but I think that's probably what's going to happen. So you can maneuver it either way you want. But like I said, guys, let those uh, statistical missions or just like complete collections, put them towards the right team or captain if you are trying to like build them all up to level 30. I think the best way, just play games. And if you want to play games on a rookie and just quickly grind out innings you can do the or you can play it with friends 
get, when you grind out innings, just get these tallies. Like if you're playing a rookie, you can get easy home runs, doubles, hits, strikeouts, stolen bases, quality starts complete. All these you can do on rookie very easily. And you can also like work towards these. Like obviously you're not going to be able to get holds if you're going to get a complete game. You can't get saves if you're going to get a complete game. Remember that. A hold is the seventh or eighth inning when the game is within three runs or less for an inning. So you can get a hold and a save, but you can't get a complete game with a hold or a save because complete game, the starting pitcher goes the whole game. So keep that in mind, guys. But like I said, try to grind these out all at once, and you can put them towards whatever player uh, captain you want. So those are the best ways to get experience. I hope that helped. And if you guys have any other questions, put them in the comments down below. I will try to do a video on them in the future if you want me to. If you did enjoy this video, a like rating would be greatly appreciated. And subscribe if you are new. But that's going to be it for the video, guys. Take it easy, and I'll see you in the next one. Later.